Hey everybody, welcome back for another Mad Panic game review. Chock full of spaceships, laser beams, and bullets. It must be a shoot 'em up. And today's game is one of the better shmups I've played in quite a while, and that is Drainus on the Nintendo Switch. And despite what the name might have you think, it will not clear any pesky clogs, but it will keep you entertained. I play a lot of shooters on this channel and in general, and I'm kind of guilty of not being very critical of them despite the fact that I'm, you know, critiquing them. It's just a genre that's kind of difficult to get wrong, or at least it is for me. As long as there's lots of stuff to destroy and the controls aren't horrendous, I'll usually be pretty happy. But despite my typical leniency on shooters, you can trust me when I say that Drainus is exceptional. So let's take a closer look and see what makes it so awesome. The premise of Drainus will sound very familiar to anyone who has ever played a shoot 'em up. You play as a rogue star pilot named Irina, who has stolen an experimental fighter ship from the evil Carlisle Empire and is using it against them in an effort to save her family and her galaxy, so you'll have to take on the whole empire by yourself, as is tradition. The story is given to you bit by bit, both by cutscenes at the start and end of each mission, but also by hidden data tapes in each stage that unlock additional cutscenes. The story is honestly the least important thing of any shooter, but at least here it's pretty fleshed out and the first stage does throw you a fun little curveball. And at least we understand who we're fighting and why we're fighting them. So you're piloting the titular Drainus fighter ship, which has a whole arsenal of cool weapons available to you, but its key ability is its reflector shield. Whenever it's activated, you can absorb most enemy bullets and laser attacks and convert them into energy of your own and then release it as a powerful homing attack. The more energy you absorb, the stronger the attack is. But you have to be careful with it as it has a limited energy supply, which can get you into trouble if you over rely on it and some bullets cannot be absorbed so you have to keep an eye out for those as well. Aside from the reflector shield you can unlock a lot of different abilities by collecting energy from destroyed enemies which you can exchange for things like spread shots, missiles, additional shields, a variety of different super attacks, more energy for your reflector shield and more health for your ship. Actually, that's probably the most irritating thing about Drainus, or at least it is for me, is that your access to your power-ups is tied to your health. So when you're at max health and all of your power-ups are activated, you're an absolute death machine. But take a few hits and it's kind of like Gradius. You're still in the shit, but now you're ill-equipped to deal with the challenges that lie before you. So the difficulty can fluctuate wildly depending on how many power-ups you have active at any one time. In general though, I'd say the difficulty in Drainus is pretty forgiving, for the most part anyway, especially when compared to some of the bullet hell shooters on the market right now. The controls are responsive, the stages are fairly long, and there are a lot of them. This is actually one of the longer shooters I've played recently, along with Never Awake. The boss battles are pretty cool and tend to be rather over the top. There are a ton of unlockables for your ship, and on the whole, this is just a solid, well-made, and very fun shooter. On top of all of that, this is also a pretty good-looking game, all things considered. The stages include everything from planet surfaces and battles in outer space, to flying through huge space cruisers and other cavernous areas. It's not really anything you haven't seen before, but it ain't half bad. And that's my assessment of the sound design too. A lot of high energy, electronic music all throughout that is very fitting for a game like this and helps you get into the action, but is also ultimately very forgettable. The most important thing though, the gameplay, is definitely a cut above a lot of the indie shooters I've played as of late, and I'd gladly play another shooter from this studio. If you're a shmup fan with a Switch, 
and you haven't played Drainus yet, I'd make it a priority. It's bad for clogs, but good for shooting. And it's awesome. Liquid plumber urgent clear when you need it now. Hmm. I heard you need it now. I only have 10 minutes. <laughs> I only need seven. So there you go, everybody. That's my little review of Drainus. How did you like it? Have you played Drainus? And what did you think of it? It's uh, on the Switch now. That's the one I did for this review. But uh, it's been available, I think, for a long time on Steam as well. Um, but this is one game I saw making the rounds on a lot of other channels. Uh, getting some good feedback, so I thought I'd pick it up and try it out. And it was so good, in fact, uh, that I decided to review it. So I, I really did like this game. Uh, like I said, it, it's fun. It can be fairly challenging, but it's not, like, brutally impossible or anything. Long stages, great gameplay, and decent visuals and sound. So all around, a uh, nice game. So again, let me know down in the comments what you think of Drainus. And are there any shoot 'em ups on the Switch right now? Uh, that I may not have played that you think I should be playing because as I said, I'm a shoot 'em up fan. I like them a lot. I really like the shoot 'em ups. Uh, so let me know down in the comments your favorite shooters on the Switch as of right now. I'd certainly like to know. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching Mad Panic Gaming, and we'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm here to flush your pipe. Okay. <sighs> Liquid Plumber Double Impact has twice the drain clearing power with a long snake to grab, deep clogs, and a powerful gel to finish off the rest, baby.